is. I thank you because Jesus, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, is here tonight to manifest his power, to manifest his authority, and to demonstrate his superiority over power of darkness. Our Father, we thank you because you have given us a name. That name has not lost its power. That name has not lost its potency. It is the name Jesus. At the mentioning of that name, every kneel, everywhere, under heaven, at any time, must bow. And every tongue must confess that, oh yes, Jesus Christ is the Lord for the glory of God the Father. I thank you because you have given us that name. The name that charms our fears. The name that beat our trouble and failure and fear to cease. Immortal Father, we are here tonight to listen to you and to speak to us and to speak to our problems and to roll away our mountains and to put an end to every activities of the devil in our life and to make us, Lord, a fulfilled individuals and make us happy and make us holy and make us healthy and make us heaven bound. Lord, I am pleading with you through the name of Jesus, through the very blood of Jesus. Tonight I command that every problem here we bow down and bow out of the life of your people for life and eternity. In Jesus' name. Every power of darkness, anywhere you are, you are hanging outside, inside, I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out in Jesus' name. I command you in the mighty name of Jesus and through the blood of Jesus, I conquer you tonight and I cast you out of this congregation. In Jesus' name. Manifest your power now. Move in our midst tonight. Touch your people, Lord. Teach your people, Lord. Transform your people, Lord. Make them better people, better students, better citizens. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because I know your answer. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Be better. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can have your seat. Before we round up for tonight, we want to look at this uh, subject briefly before we enter into prayer. The divine manifestation and mission of Jesus. The divine manifestation and mission of Jesus. We need to understand why Jesus was manifested. And when he was manifested, what was the mission of Jesus? Why did he come to the world? What did he come to do? If you can answer and if you know the manifestation, why he was manifested. Why was he manifested? Why was he revealed? Why was he sent to the earth? And for what purpose? What goal has he come to the world to achieve? And tonight, we'll look at the divine manifestation and the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ. First John chapter 3. The divine manifestation and the mission of Jesus. First John chapter 3. I read verse 5. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. And so, if there is any reason why you should be troubled, that reason should be pulled behind you tonight. Am I going to be saved from sin? 
am I going to be delivered from sin? There is a savior. And there is no other person. Find out from the internet. Find out from any dictionary. Find out from anywhere that is referred to as the savior. There is no man. There is no prophet that is referred to as the savior. Is the only one that bears that appellation, the Savior. And ye know, if you don't know before, we need to tell you that he, and ye know, and you ought to know, if other people don't seem to know, you left your home, you left other business, you left other things that you're supposed to be doing at this time, and you came here, and then we need, we need to do justice. And be faithful unto God. If you have not known to let you know to write that. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. My own sins. Your own sins. That was the reason why in the first instance Jesus was manifested. And then when you look at verse 8. Another reason. You can see it there. That first John chapter 3 verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, for this reason, this is the very mission of Christ. That the son, for this purpose, the Son of God, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. First John chapter 4. And I read verse 9. First John chapter 4, verse 9. In this was manifested the love of God towards us. Because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. That we might live through him. John. First John chapter 5. First John chapter 5. I read verse 11. That we might live through him. First John chapter 5 verse 11. And this is the record. That God has given to us eternal life. And this life in his son. This life is in his son. John chapter 10. I read verse 10. John Gospel according to St. John chapter 10. I read verse 10. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And so, these are the three phases in which you want to consider the message of tonight. We want to look at the divine manifestation and the purpose and the mission and the goal and the objective of Jesus who was manifested, we have seen it, to take away our sins. He was manifested to destroy anywhere he smells, anywhere he perceives, anywhere he discover the works of the devil. Either you are born with it, or you inherited it, or it is self-inflicted kind of problem. That is the work of the devil. Anywhere he smells it or perceives it, it's all out. In his indignation and wrath and anger to destroy the works of the devil in your life and in my life. And Jesus will be manifested in your life tonight in Jesus' name. And your prayer request should be like this. Oh Lord, I want you to fulfill your mission and your purpose in my own life. 
and he will fulfill it in your life in Jesus' name. You need to really look up unto God. You came to take away my sin. You came to destroy the work of the devil. And then not to leave me alone after you have not to leave me alone after you have dis destroyed the work of the devil. You came to give me life. And not ordinary life. Life in abundance. Super abundant life. And say, so, oh Lord, I plead with you tonight. That's oh Lord, you have a goal in my life. You have a purpose for, for creating me. I want you to fulfill your purpose, your goal, your mission in my own life, in my academics, in my future life, in my marital life, in every area of my life. Each step I take each day, I want you to fulfill your purpose, your mission in my own life. And he will fulfill it. Yeah. I said, Jesus, the king of kings, will fulfill it. Yeah. He has a good dream for you. The thought I thought towards you is the thought of progress, is the thought of peace, is the thought of perfection, is the thought of success, is the thought of excellence. He never thought any evil against you. He has a purpose, he has a mission. What the devil has done. God was manifested. Jesus was manifested to reverse everything. Every handwriting against you that is contrary to the mission and the purpose of God in your life. He said he took it out of the way. He nailed it to the cross. So you can see that that prayer you need to pray. I told Lord tonight and throughout the rest of my life. You created me for a purpose. And I want that purpose to be fulfilled. Jesus, in your mercy, fulfill your mission. And fulfill your purpose in my life. And another prayer request, you need to pray. Anywhere, oh Lord, you smell and you perceive the work of the devil. I don't know where they is located. I don't know. There are many works of the devil. You don't know where they are located. But Jesus can locate them. Jesus can discover them. Jesus knows them. And is the only one that has the ability and the power to destroy that world. Some years back, our general superintendent told us, he said some people, they never discover that they are in bondage until later years in life. He said they are like animals. They put chain on their necks. And then, because the chain is so long, they never knew that they were bound. And so, it is when a particular time, maybe they have even graduated from the university. When they were in the university, they never had any academic challenge, any problem at all. Everything is good and rosing and is smoothly going. And then maybe it is when they want to really get married or they want to, I mean, get job or whatever, they want to make progress, they will now discover that they are bound. But I know that every work of the devil in your life tonight is going to be shattered, is going to be broken, and the dominion of Satan anywhere in your life is going to be crushed in Jesus' name. And so, we'll look at the message under three subheading. Number one, we'll look at Christ's manifestation and mission to offer freedom from sin and slavery. Christ's manifestation and mission to offer freedom from sin and slavery. Point two, Christ's manifestation and mission to offer freedom from sickness and Satan. Christ's manifestation and mission to offer freedom from Satan or from sickness and Satan. Point three, Christ's manifestation and mission to offer life in super abundance. Christ's manifestation and mission to offer life in super abundance. And we manifest his power in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Point one, Christ's manifestation. A mission to offer freedom from sin and slavery. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew 
1.21 And she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Whatever sin, whatever be the name of that sin, Jesus has offered himself. No one forced him. He didn't go to the cross under the rest. He went and offered himself for the blood, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I've offered it unto you upon Calvary to make atonement for your sin. For it was the blood that made atonement for sin. And so Jesus was offered. He offered himself to make atonement for your sin. Whatever name of the sin may be, Jesus was manifested to set you free from sin and slavery. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. Bible made us to understand in chapter 3, verse 10, as it is written, there is no righteous, not, no, not one. Verse 20, verse 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and we have come short of the glory of God. God. And so you can see here in Romans chapter 1, verse 29 to verse 32. Be free with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affections, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them, I do them. Then we now understand this thing we are talking about, he made mention of fornication. He made mention of wickedness. Wish, wizard, familiar spirit, wicked people, personalities, covetous, maliciousness, just full of envy, all form of unrighteousness. That is sin from which Jesus came to save us from. And that is the reason tonight. You must give him a chance. If you give God a chance in your life, he will manifest his power to save you. You can tell him, Jesus, I surrender everything tonight. My witchcraft, I submit. My wizardry, I submit. My fornication, all those boyfriend and those good guest friends, I forsake tonight. And then you can give him a chance. And Jesus said, Father, into your hand, I commend my spirit. And therefore, that is the reason. And we are sounding it loud. That as a girl, you cannot commit your life and your future into the life of a boy. Who is going to waste it and ruffle it and trample upon it. And as a boy, you are not going to commit your life, your future into the land of a girl. Who is going to mutilate it and waste it and send you to hell. Jesus, the Savior, the King of Kings said, He said, Father, into your hand I commend my spirit. And I want to appeal to every one of us tonight. Anything called sin. Is it lying? Is it cheating? Is it smoking? Is it drunkenness? Is it any evil association or courtesy, spiritism? We are to relinquish it and do away with them. And give our life totally and completely unto him. Give him a chance. And say, oh Lord, have your way in my life. Make my heart your royal throne. 
my heart, I give unto you. If Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Savior, said unto the Father, he said, Father, I'm not committing my life, I'm not, I'm not committing my spirit, my soul, my body, into the hand of any man. Into the hand, I commend my spirit. And that is exactly what God wants you to do tonight. If you are not offer yourself unto God, you need to offer yourself unto God and let him have chance. Give him a chance and see whether he's not going to manifest his power. And see if Jesus is not going to demonstrate his superiority over anything that will oppose the will of God and contradict the purpose why God made you. Give him a chance and let him fight for you. And let him defend you because eternal God to those people who offer themselves unto him is their refuge underneath them at the everlasting arm. And I'm, I want to assure you tonight, if you offer your, a, God a chance and you give him a chance and let him have his way in your life, I'm telling you, he has brought all things under your feet. And you will trample upon them in Jesus' name. And so, you should understand that there are different kinds of freedom. There is a national freedom. There is a family freedom. But there are different kinds of freedom. Somebody has just learned a trade and then they are doing freedom for him or her. But none of this one can get any individual to heaven. So the kind of freedom from sin and slavery we are talking about is the one that can only be offered by the Savior. There is no name under heaven among men by which any individual could be saved. I've told you, there is no other one that bears that appellation, the Savior. And if a man could save himself from sin, then wouldn't, there wouldn't be any need of a Savior. But we are handicapped. We are limited. We cannot save our soul from sin. And the only one qualified is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he has offered himself. And you know he was manifested to take away our sins. And he was also manifested to destroy the works of the devil. He's ready tonight if there is any evil binding activity. If there is any evil binding activity habits in your life. You want to free yourself, but you just discover that you cannot free yourself. And that is exactly why Christ came to set you free from the bondage and the use and the shame and the shackles of sin. Sin has a shackle by which it binds men. Romans chapter 7, I read from verse 14 through to 25. Open your Bible. Let's read together. I'm telling you, if there's anyone here tonight, and you have that evil binding habit. I'm telling you, if you can give God a chance, he's going to step in. And he will step into your life and break every chain that binds you to sin and binds you to evil habit in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans chapter 7, I read from verse 14. The Bible says, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I allow not. Can you see? For what I would that do I not. But what I hate that do I. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I will, I do not. But the evil which I will not, that I do. Now, if I do that, I will not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I will do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the word man. But I see another Lord in my member, warning against the law of God, warning the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this dead? Verse 25. I tango. Say, I tango. Say, I tango. Today is your day of deliverance. 
I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. And then when you read verse chapter 8, verse 1, it said, There is now therefore no condemnation to them we shall cry, Jesus, who walks not after the flesh, but after the spirit. That is the situation of this man. There is an evil binding habit in his life. He wants to be free, but he discovered that he couldn't free himself. He wants to do good, but he discovered that evil is always present with him. That bad thing that he doesn't want to do, that is exactly what he finds him doing. He became frustrated in life. He, he, he was not himself. Who, who is going to deliver me? Say, I'm a wretched man. Oh, wretched man that I am. Who is going to deliver me? He was said, Tango, through our Lord Jesus Christ. He came. He went to the cross. He shed his blood. And he set me free. And he's going to do exactly the same thing to you tonight in Jesus' name. Get ready. If you have any evil binding activity, habit in your, in your life, you want to, you don't like that sin. You hate it. But exactly you find yourself doing it. God said, the scripture of the truth said, that blessed be to God, thanks be to God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. The only individual, no man who could utter, who set him free from that evil binding habit. There's no amount of mercy. There's no amount of draw formulated that can take it. It's not going to set him free. He doesn't have the power to set him free from that sin. The only one, there's no engineer, there's no remote control, that there's no technology. No technology has been able to set man free from sin. If you see people that are committing suicide, if you see a lot of people that are just banned by fornication and adultery, they don't want to do it. But they just find themselves doing it. There is a spirit controlling them. There is a power controlling them. They couldn't find themselves free. There is no amount of technology, medicine, doctors, pharmacies, drugs, prescription, injection, that you take away that evil binding activity. There is no idol. There is no demon. There is no Satan. They even want you to be doing it. They are the one even sponsoring that kind of evil binding activity in your life. But tonight, thanks be to God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, because he's going to set you free. When the time comes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 20. Let's look at it again. For the creation was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the reason of him who has subjected the same in whole. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Is that, you can see from that passage of the scripture, the Bible made us to understand that verse 20. For the creature itself was made subject unto vanity, not willingly. I know it's, nobody will say hell fire. I say I'm going to hell fire. Nobody will see the pit like this. I say I will jump into it. Nobody will see danger and say yes, I'm going to have accident today. I'm going to rush into the mouth of danger. But it was false. And to do it, there is a compelling power that compels him, that is compelling him, that is forcing him to do what he doesn't like. For the creation itself was made subject to vanity. And that is the reason why you cannot copy all these people that are just, that are just controlled by Satan in the world. The creation itself was subject to vanity, not willingly. But by the reason of him, Satan, that subjected the same in who said, but the creation said, shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. And if there's anyone under the bondage of corruption tonight, that individual or those group of people shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption in Jesus' name. 
that when it comes to the time of prayer, we're going to call those people. And we're going to pray. And that will be the end of the dominion of Satan. Because I know the power of the Lord is here tonight to set you free. I have received commandments to go and bless. I have received commandments to go and set free. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me to set those people free tonight. I am going to be free from that evil binding activity and habit the devil introduced and installed into your life. In Jesus name. And that is the reason you need to get prepared and get happy tonight. Because the king of kings is the deliverer. And he's going to deliver you. Let's move to point two. Christ's manifestation and mission to offer freedom from sickness and Satan. That is Christ for you. He was manifested to take away sin. Not only to take away sin, the one that installed the sin, that introduced the sin, that manufactured the sin, that is behind the sin, he said he's going to destroy it. All his works, his workshops, his activities. God, Jesus Christ, the Savior, was manifested to destroy that works of the devil. And he will destroy it in your life in Jesus' name. What are the work of the devil? The work of the devil are numerous. Understand that we are talking of the work of the devil that the combination of decision and the combination of determination and discipline cannot set you free from the Satan and sickness that the devil brings. Except the liberator. Except the deliverer. For this purpose was manifested. The combination of uh, every other thing, power you may have, Combination and deci of decision and determination, discipline, several visits to hospitals cannot set a man free from Satan. But Jesus was manifested to set you free from all those in Jesus' name. Out of Apostle chapter 10, verse 38. Out of Apostle chapter 10, verse 38. The Bible made us to understand in verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Mark it, the time is coming. And then you look at your side. Anywhere you are oppressed of the devil. Like that man, I said, I cry. He said, Oh Lord. He said, Like a crane. He said, I'm oppressed. He said, oh Lord, undertake for me. Jesus is ready to root out every work of the devil in your life. Do you know he was anointed for that purpose? In Luke, Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 4, I read verse 18. Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 4, verse 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me for what purpose? To preach the gospel to the poor. For what purpose? He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. He has sent me to preach deliverance to the captive. And recovering of sight to the blind. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. And to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And that is the reason why you have to be happy tonight. Because Jesus was anointed. Whatever may be that sickness in your body, moving from your brain to your blood, from your blood to your bone, from your bone to your bosom, from your bosom to your bowen, from your bowen to any part of your body, Jesus was anointed to heal the broken hearted. He was manifested to take away the sickness away from you. He was anointed. How the Lord anointed Jesus. He went about Doing good, healing the sick, and delivering them that are oppressed of the devil. God knows where you are oppressed. Jesus did not, did not manifest so that you can be oppressed more. You are not created to be a footmark 
of the devil. And if you have been a footmat of Satan, and you have been a wash basin for the devil, God said, I'm not pleased. Jesus said, I'm not happy. Jesus is saying, it is not my wish that you should be a footmat of the devil. There are people in life. They are footmat of the devil. When the devil wants to enter like this, all the dirty, dirty chin is under his foot. He will just rub it on that individual and the devil and the person will never make progress. Then he want to wash his dirty hand. Then he will, that, that person becomes a wash basin for the devil. God said, I am not, I'm not, I'm not supporting that one. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 13. Leviticus chapter 26 Verse 13. Leviticus chapter 26. Verse 13. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be the abundant I have broken the band of your yoke and made you go upright. I'm not supporting that one. I'm the Lord your God. If you hear that one in the dream, I know you, it will interest you. And somebody just comes to you, I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. That you should not be a bond man, that you should not be a foot mat, that you should not be a wash basin for the devil. I've broken the yoke of your band. Why are you still sorrowing? Why are you still remaining under the yoke of your I've broken it at Calvary. I've broken it. And with the shedding of my blood, I've broken it. And that is the reason I'm so confident tonight that with the shedding of the blood of Jesus, and with the power of the cross and Calvary, and with the resurrection power, every yoke of the devil is going to be broken in your life tonight in Jesus' name. I'm the Lord your God. What do you mean? There's no reason why anybody should remain a slave of Satan. There's no reason where any individual should remain a servant of sickness. Like it happens some weeks ago, or just of recent. And then the federal government came out and they said, all the four requirements that the ASU are asking for, we have met them. There's no reason why they should continue in their strike. Is there any reason? All that will make you free in life, all that will make you happy in life, all that will make you holy in life, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. And be in head, even as thy soul prospereth. I wish about, above all things else. Why should you remain in sickness? Why should it's not by the permission of God the Father? It's not by the permission of God the Son. It's not by the permission of God the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you tonight, it's not by my own permission. That any sickness should remain here. That any bondage should remain here. That you should be a footman? Never. Never. You are going to be free tonight. Yeah. I say you are going to be free tonight. Yeah. That you remain in a failure? Never. I wish above all things that you excel. I wish about 14 that you succeed. I wish about 14 that you prosper. I'm going to plant you in the mountain of my inheritance which my hand has made. I'm taking you to the high top, to the mountain top of excellence, to the top mountain top of success. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, that thou mayest excel, that thou mayest succeed, that thou mayest happy and be joyful and have a fulfilled life. Fruitful, fulfilled, full, happy, holy, healthy, heaven bound. I wish above all things that all those things are fulfilled in your life. And that is the reason why I gave you that first prayer point. Anything that will not allow the will of God to be fulfilled in your life must be crushed. 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 Crow! And the purpose of God will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. By the grace of God in this church, we thank God because of our leaders. And we thank God because of the anointed men of God that are leading us. Like you are here in the campus. I gave my life to Jesus Christ in the campus setting like this many years ago. And the leaders are so committed to the welfare of his members. They pray if it is prayer. They pray for us if it is deliverance. They pray for prayer of deliverance. If it is anything about our academic welfare, they care about that one. They pray for success. And we are succeeding. 
They pray for breakthroughs and there are breakthroughs. They pray for open doors and then we are having open doors, traveling from country to country, from this place to that place, and then we are changing plane from this place to another place and the door was just opening and some of our visa just come to us when we are in the office. No need to be running up and down, but if you give God a chance and then the leadership of this church is committed, anything that will tamper with your progress, we are ready, we are battle ready to crush them. God is not happy that anybody, anything should hold you in failure. Never are going to root out, no matter how deep the root of failure or frustration, and all the spirit of frustration that follow you from home. All the spirit of frustration, I say, I'm going to frustrate you. You enter into university, no problem. Enter, let's see. And all those spirit of frustration that is money you, and all those monitoring spirit that is money you, they are going to be shattered. I'm telling you, you may not see them, but I, I'm telling you, they are going to be broken tonight in Jesus' name. So, Jesus was manifested. I was anointed for that purpose. To heal those of broken hearted. To heal the broken hearted. To, to redeem your soul from perdition, from hell, from trouble, from sickness, from sorrow, from setback, from failure, from anything that will hinder you from making progress. And the Lord will rule them out in Jesus' name. And so you can see that Jesus Christ, in Matthew chapter, one, chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. I read verse 16 and 17. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that was sick. That it might be fulfilled. Which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and happier our sicknesses. I'm telling you tonight, whatever sickness that you have brought here, maybe before you came here, you were weak and sickly, and uh, some. The spirit of the Lord just compel you, just walk on you, and walk through you, and walk over you, and say so you can go. Whatever condition through which you came here tonight, you came here almost frustrated, and we say, let me just go tonight. Maybe anything could happen. Something will happen. Yeah. I said wonders will happen. Yeah. The weekend has started, and it's going to be a weekend of wonders. Yeah. Weekend of wonders. Yeah. Through this, out this weekend, you experience wonder. Yeah. There will be manifestation of wonders in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. And you can see that one in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3. It was manifested to take away our sicknesses by his strife who are healed. Isaiah chapter 53, I read verse 5. The Bible made us to understand. Verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stride, complete it. And with his stride, are you among them? Are you among them? In this world, are you among them? I'm among them. By his wound, I am healed. By his wound, by his trial, by his punishment, by his pain, I am healed. You are healed. According to the profession of your healing, spiritually, physically, mentally, you are declared whole in Jesus' name. And you can see that it was manifested to heal your sicknesses, diseases. Maybe you have been poisoned in the dream. Everything you will intralize. Yeah. Epileptic attack, viva, stomach, whatever headache, whatever kind of problem, body pain, chest pain, pneumonia, hypertension, tuberculosis, sickle cells, deafness. Maybe you couldn't hear very well or you couldn't see very well. Partial blindness, whatever name it is, was manifested to heal them all. By his strife, by his wound, we are healed. From oppression, we are delivered. Yeah. From depression, we are delivered. Yeah. 
From obsession, you are delivered. From bad luck, you are delivered. It was manifested to take away your bad law. And writing and ordinances which are written against you and they are contrary to your sources. It was manifested. These are the work of the devil I'm talking about. They are handwriting. It was not written by Jesus. It was not written by God. It was not written by the Holy Spirit. It was not written by any of the prophets. But the devil writes it against you. We call it the trademark of the devil. And whatever trademark of the devil you are bearing. And some people, they bear the trademark of the devil and they never know in their life. But I'm telling you, either you know it or you don't know it. Tonight, it's going to be blotted out. I said that trademark. Anywhere it is, in your body, maybe on your forehead, and you never know. Because this spirit is spiritual. You may not see it. It may be under your armpit, and you never know. It may be in any, it may be at your back, and you never discover it. It may be on your ears, and then you never discover it. But I'm telling you, handwritings, ordinances, which are written against you, against your progress, against your breakthrough, against your sun head, against your well being, against your welfare, and are contrary. You want to make progress, that thing is not allowing you to make progress. Because there's a trademark and there's a monetary agent that if anybody wants to do you good, you will chase them away or kill them. And I'm telling you tonight, those trademarks, they will be removed. Through the very blood of Jesus, those trademark right now with the authority of heaven, I blot them out from your life in Jesus' name. And this is the reason why Jesus was manifesting. Are you experiencing demonic attack? A demonic attack in the dream, in the day, in the dark, in the night, in the office, anywhere in the school, in the classroom. You want to read, you couldn't get concentrated because there's a demonic attack, oppression. There is fear in the heart. There is heart palpitation. It's like your heart wants to jump out. It's like your heart wants to fail. And then you, it's like you are, you are experiencing heart failure. If there is any evil binding covenant, either you are aware about it or you are not, it's going to be blotted out. And this I say, that the covenant, which was confirmed before of God in Christ Jesus, the law, I was made 430 years later. Cannot disannul that if you make the promises of God of non-effect in your life. Whatever dream you had yesterday, forget about it. There is a covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ Jesus according to Galatians chapter 3 verse 17. He said the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ Jesus. The dream you had yesterday. The enemy that is pursuing that is saying they are not going to fulfill. He said the Lord that was made 430 years later cannot disannul that he should make the promises, the purpose, the mission of Christ to be non effect in your life. I'm telling you tonight, either spell or causes that are carrying all about, enchantment or divination, and either psychosomatic problem or attack on your life or disorder, mental affliction, Brain fatigue, madness, abnormal behavior, fluctuating insanity. They are all going. They will sink. I said those abnormal insanity disorder, they will sink tonight in Jesus' name. But these are the activity of the devil. These are the work of the devil. Jesus came to destroy any power that opposes the will of God for your lives. You are always eating in the dream and those things, they are causing a lot of satanic deposit in your body. You eat, you eat, you eat, you eat, you just discover, you wake up, you, you are not heavy again, you are just heavy and then you don't even know what to do, you are confused and obsessed. And then you just look at yourself, so heavy you want to read, you can't read. And then that thing causes you a sickness and then you, it may be, maybe, I mean, all those things, I'm telling you, that is why Jesus came. To rule them out. I just seen invisible. We are hearing invisible. These are the work of the devil. You want to concentrate. The lecturer is teaching in the class like this. You are just hearing another voice behind you. Seeing, you are just seeing something unreal. And then you are, you are hearing something invisible. I mean, all those things. And then that has been your experience. I'm telling you, Jesus came 
to destroy those who want torment and pursuit of evil beasts, creatures in the dreams, nightmares, always fellowshipping with the dead. You see yourself, you're always fellowshipping with people that are dead. These are the activities of the devil. And Jesus was manifested. My fellowship is with Jesus. I don't have fellowship with the dead. And that is what the Bible made us to understand. In 1 John chapter, 3, chapter 1, verse 3, he said, For our fellowship is with the Father, and with the Son, and with the Holy Ghost. I don't have fellowship with the dead. I don't have fellowship with failure. I don't have fellowship with frustration. I don't have fellowship with mental disorder. I don't have fellowship with brain fatigue. And therefore, we don't have fellowship with any yoke, failure, problem. We are separated. Separated unto, unto honor. We are separated unto honor. And my father will bring you unto honor in Jesus' name. And therefore, that was exactly why Jesus was manifested. He wants to separate you from Satan. He wants to separate you from sickness. He wants to separate you from sorrow. He wants to separate you from having dream and having fellowship with the dead. There's no reason. There's no concord. There's no fellowship between you and the dead. A fellowship with the Father and with the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no reason why you should be sleeping and you are fellowship with the dead. There's no way it is written. God detests it. God disallows it. God opposes it. And that is the reason why Jesus came. And the Lord is going to deliver you in Jesus' name. All those moving objects, moving from toe to any part of your body, and then it's causing you at a particular time, you just discover that you cannot concentrate again when it is noon again. You just discover that your head is so hot, and it's like they put a fire at the center of your brain, and then you cannot really comprehend it's so hot. And then you wonder, am I the only one in this world? And it's like the whole world is upon you. Those Lord, they are going tonight. Yeah. And that fire at the center of your brain, I pour the blood of Jesus upon that center of the brain, and I quench satanic fire upon that brain right now. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then, your own experience may be is just an immoral asshole. You sleep, you, just, you are messing up in the dream. And then you are just messing up and the things, you don't like it. You cry and you weep and you sorrow and you say, Oh, wretched man that I am, but thank Jesus is here. Those immoral assaults in the dream, I'm telling you, an end has come to them. Yeah. I say, an end has come to them. Yeah. And that yoke and those, that man's spirit and that, uh, that spirit husband and that spirit wife that is pursuing you. You want to live a life that is free. You want to live a life that pleases God. And then there is somebody, he says it's a spirit husband, it's a spirit woman. And then he's pursuing your life and then he's just making life difficult and bitter for you. And you want to concentrate on reading your book and saying never, never. Don't, don't forget me, don't forget me. And always appearing to you in the dream. Today, you are separated. Yeah. I divorce you from those spirit husband and wives tonight through the power of the omnipotent God in Jesus' name. That is the reason why Jesus came. He came to separate you from every evil fellowship. Fellowship with the dead. Fellowship with spiritual wife or husband. He came. These are the work of the devil. Whatever the devil has in stone in your body, God came to uproot them. And you discover in the world of computer, they will say they install certain software in this one. They install certain one in this one. If it's not installed in that particular computer, you can carry out an operation in that particular system. And there are many people that the devil had. When they were men slave, the devil came. And he saw tears, so sickness, so failure, so bad law, so everything that is evil. I saw it in the life of man. And that is the reason as a man, as a, as a sister, as a brother, you need to really rise up and jump up and say, never. You can't sow this thing, all your installation, I approve them, I throw them away. And those satanic installation in your brain, in your bone, in your blood, in your breast, in your bowel, in your bowel. They are rooted out through the finger of the Most High tonight. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And you can see, a lot of covenant with idols, maybe your forefathers made it, or your ancestors made it, and they said that, uh, okay, they offer you to the God of the rivers and the God of the ocean, and those mammy water spirits are pursuing you. Today, 
I mean water spirit. Anywhere you are hearing the sound of my voice, I divorce you and I separate you from your from your clients in Jesus' name. It's not by the permission of God. I've received commandment to go and set those people free tonight. I've received commandment to go and destroy the work of my water spirits. I've received commandment to go and destroy every immoral spirit. Spirit husband, you hear my voice? Spirit wife, you hear my voice? I'm sent by God to destroy the work of those evil spirits in your life. And separate you for what is good. And separate you from darkness, from failure, from frustration. You are so lucky tonight that you are here. And this is where your deliverance is. And your deliverance will come rapidly, speedily this weekend of wonders in Jesus' name. Yeah. And brothers and sisters, point three. Christ's manifestation and mission to offer life. Are you happy? To offer life in, in super abundant manner. In super abundant way. I've read it to you in John chapter 10, verse 10. He said, The chief coming not but to steal, to kill, and to do what? What I call. The landlord has called. Every tenant. Every tenant. They will pack out tonight. The landlord has called. The chief comments not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I'm the landlord. I'm the landlord. I've come to give you life. And not ordinary life. Not a shaky life. Not a life without happiness. Not a life without joy. Not a life with failure. But a, a life. Super abundance. Life in abundance. In, su in surplus way. A life with blessing. A blessed and a beautiful life. A complete and a conquering life. A desirable life and a, with divine protection. I've come to offer you eternal life. I've come to offer you a fulfilled, a full, and a, 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 a full life. Fulfilled life. Full with fatness. And he said, I'm going to satisfy you with the fatness of my house and I will make you to drink of the rivers of my pleasure. Psalm 36 verse 8. You will see it there. He said, I have come to satisfy you with the fatness of my house and to make you to drink of the rivers of my pleasure. He came to offer such life to you, an influential life, that will make your life to be influential, that makes your life to be joyful. Kingdom life. No sickness, no unrighteousness, no corruption. He has come to offer you long life, a life full of miracles. A life that is new, noble, an obedient and overcoming life. A profitable, prosperous, progressive life. A life of success. A quiet and a peaceable life. A righteous, royal, rewardable, and rapturable life. That is the one I've come to offer you. I've come to offer you a sanctified, satisfied life. Transformed, triumphant life. Thought the life that is, we call it top of the ladder experience. A life that is a life. We call it top of the ladder experience kind of life. That is what it came. I wish above all things that you be above every other thing. You shall be the head. You shall be the head. In your classes, you shall be the head. In your classroom, you shall be the head. And you will never. I make a declaration today by the power of the omnipotent God that you will never be detailed in Jesus' name. And anywhere the door is closed, open your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up. Ye everlasting door, that success may come in. Your success is coming. Your letter of admission is already prepared. For that cause of your choice, that letter is prepared from heaven. Take it now in Jesus' name. The money your mother, your father spent on you to come here will never be in vain in Jesus' name. 
at the end of your course, you will have testimony. I said, you have testimony. And Jesus came to give you a worthy life, a victorious life, an extraordinary life, very serious life, yoke-free life. And that is what Jesus came to offer you. So you have seen the three folds, ministry, purpose, mission of Christ to you. You are so lucky. And many people, they don't understand this one. So ignorance of why Jesus came. So ignorance of the purpose, the mission of Jesus. They didn't know he was manifested for them. And so they run to herbalists. They rose to false prophets. They are just looking for nothing. Just looking for, for, for solution where there is no solution. Wishes and wizards, they are sucking somebody's blood. And he's taking paracetamol. He's taking blood tonic. Me. If God he has gone to hospital or she has gone to hospital and said that we, from the medical tests available before us, there is no problem with you. And the person is saying, okay, take blood tonic. They will suck his blood. They will just put the, 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 the what do you call it? <laughs> These things, straw. And they put it on his blood and they will suck everything. And he's using blood tonic. That blood tonic cannot deliver the person. But I assure you tonight, you are delivered. Amen. I'm assuring you tonight, I say you are delivered. Amen. 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 And so, unite I believe it to you and you know that it was manifested to take away your sins, to destroy the work of the devil, and to give you life in abundance. Let's rise up. Tonight is your night. I want you to begin to appreciate God tonight and thank him. And thank him. And worship him. He's here tonight. Jesus is here to set you free from sin. He's here to set you free from corruption, to deliver you from the bondage of sin and the bondage of corruption. For the creation itself is made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the reason of the day, who subjected the same in whole. But the creation itself shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. Tonight is your night, you are going to be delivered from the bondage of corruption. Every evil binding power, habits, broken. The dominion of Satan is going to be shattered and broken and destroyed in your life. Tonight. Jesus is here. He has given us a name. It's a name that charms our fears. And bid every sickness, every sin, every Satan you to cease. Jesus is here to set you free tonight. My Father is here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. The Savior. The Savior. The Savior. The Savior of mankind. The war was lost. Have we conquered them all? Thank God. Calvary. The war was lost. Jesus conquered them all. Thank God. Oh, Calvary.
all the trouble of mankind, Jesus took them away. Jesus, name we pray. All eye closed, head bowed. It was manifested to take away sin. I want you to be sincere with God tonight. Let him have, give him a chance. If there's any sin in your life, you know it. And then there is an evil binding habit you are practicing. You want to be free, you are even crying. Even this morning, you have even cried. Say, oh Lord, who is going to deliver me now? All eyes closed, all head bow. We are in a serious moment now. This is what brought you to problem. And it must be destroyed tonight. Raise up your hand anywhere you are. At the back, in the front, in the middle. Hall, row one, two, three. Raise up your hands. There's no shame in it. Close your eyes or head bow. That evil binding habit is not from God. God detests it and is going to destroy it. Raise up your hand very, very well. And say, God, I surrender unto you. Raise it up. There is going to be a yoke-breaking prayer now. And that yoke of sin, that power of sin, that chain of sin is going to be broken. Jesus mighty name we pray. Almighty God we thank you tonight. I praise your name because you are a holy God looking for holy people. Heaven bound people you are looking for. Immortal Father. Holy, 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 holy. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I look up unto you on the behalf of your sons and your daughters. Who has lifted up their, their hands. They raise it up unto heaven. Not unto me. I can't save them. I'm not the one who shed my blood. I was like them before. And a glorious came. They came. And you ransomed me. You redeemed me from sin. Immortal Father. Holy God. The only Savior. I look up unto you with passion. I look up unto you, O oh Lord, with all my heart. These are your sons and your daughter. They don't want to continue in immorality. They don't want to continue in sin. They don't want to continue in, in all those evil binding activities of the devil and evil binding habits. Masturbation. They don't want to continue in that. Lord, I look up unto you. Every sin, name it anyhow, anywhere, any evil habits, I beg you tonight, that bind your sons and daughter to sin, that evil binding habit, I cut it all through the sword of the spirit tonight from their life. In Jesus' name. Satan, Satan, Satan. Hear the voice of the servant of the Most High. For it is written, My God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who you see that had named himself against him and prosper. Therefore, Satan, your hands that is making these people and influencing them to continue in sin. I command you, remove your hand from their life tonight and let that hand be broken into pieces in Jesus' name. Every power that is making you to commit masturbation, I cut off their hands tonight. I destroy their hand tonight. I break the arm of Satan in your life. I break the skull of Satan in your life. Every ugly head of the devil raised up against you. I blow it off now in Jesus' name. 
every influence of the devil in your life, making you to go into sin, making you to go into sin, and after commission that sin, you are never happy and put you in bondage. But the Bible says, the creation itself shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. Every bondage of corruption in your life, are you breaking through the power of the omnipotent God right now? He Jesus' name. Father, manifest your power. Yes. Jesus, manifest your power. Amen. This bondage of corruption, this bondage of sin, this bondage of iniquity that has wrapped your people, your sons and your daughter, through the blood of Jesus, I said they are free tonight. They are free in Jesus' name. Amen. Through the power of Jesus, I set you free and I declare Go and see no more in Jesus' name. Go and see no more in Jesus' name. Go and see no more in Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. I declare tonight you are free. Completely free. Totally free. Practically free. You are free from the bondage of corruption and sin in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because I know you've answered. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. In your own case, somebody is always messing you up in the dream. All eyes closed, heads bowed. The spirit of the Lord is against that evil spirit tonight. Raise up your hand. The Lord wants to deliver you tonight. Either you are a boy or you are a girl. Raise up your hand very well. God bless those hands. Tonight is your night. No more fellowship with those evil spirits any longer. Heavenly Father, I look up unto you. For this, your sons and daughters that have raised up their hand, they are sincere to raise up their hand. They are not ashamed because Jesus is here. Immortal Father, I look up unto you. All those evil spirits, spirit of immorality, that is messing them up in the dream. You that spirit, I ostracize you from their life in Jesus' name. Every unseen forces that are coming to them in the dream to mess them up and fornicate with them and have fellowship with them. I have intimacy with them in the dream. And I, I, make, I, I make love with them in the dream. In the name of Jesus, I bring out the sword of the spirit. I sharpen the sword with the blood of Jesus. How are you evil spirit? I heal you in pieces now. I heal you in pieces now. I heal you in pieces now. You are healing in pieces in Jesus' name. And through that messing up, you are passing sicknesses, you are passing weaknesses, you are making their spiritual to be weak, your spiritual life to be weak. In the name of Jesus, I stop that relationship tonight. I stop the fellowship tonight. I stop the visitation tonight. Every inroad into their life, I fill it with the blood of Jesus and I destroy your relationship right now. In Jesus' name. I separate you from that evil spirit. I separate you from that immoral spirit. I separate you from that immoral spirit. You immoral spirit, the landlord has come. Or you tenant in the body, park your low. Or you low, you tenant in the thought. Or you tenant in the imagination. Or you thought in the heart. Park your Lord, get out of their heart in Jesus' name. 
I set you free through the power of the omnipotent God. And I set you free through the power of Calvary. And I set you free through the power of the cross. All you sons and daughters of the Most High, you are free. 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 And I separate you from that unseen forces tonight in Jesus' name. I erect a, a, a roadblock with the very blood of Jesus. No access done into your heart. No access done into the imagination of your heart. No access done into your life any longer from today. It, it, is, it is destroyed in Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are completely separated from them tonight. They will look for you. They will not see you. I blindfold them in Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Young case, you are always eating the dream. And that eating has never helped you. Each time you, just, you eat like that, you just discover that you are tired and weakly and sickly. Raise up your hand. The visitation, that food is destroyed tonight. And through that food, they have been poisoning you, poisoning your brain, poisoning your blood. And you have gone to hospital. They said nothing is wrong with you. Raise up your hand. Heavenly Father, I thank you for tonight. Mighty Father, you said, if the enemy shall come like a flood, the spirit of the living God will lift up standard against them. Tonight, every evil spirit visitation, feeding them in the dream, feeding them at night, Lord, and they are poisoning them, poisoning their spiritual life. Poisoning their physical life, poisoning their brain, poisoning their body, poisoning their breath, poisoning their blood, poisoning their bone, and all the poison they have introduced into the life of your people through eating their dream. I neutralize satanic poison, satanic deposit in your blood system, in your brain, in your bone, in your bone well, in your bosom, in your body. I neutralize it by the power in the blood of Jesus. They are neutralized today permanently in Jesus' name. I render their food harmless. 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 Let those food poisoning become a fertilizer, become a vitamin to your body right now. In Jesus' name. I mount a roadblock between you and those demons. They are mounted and erected through the blood of Jesus tonight. In Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. Amen. 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 If you are sick anywhere, whatever you need the name of the sickness, tuberculosis, HIV, you have been diagnosed to have HIV. Tonight is going. Yeah. Chest pain, body pain, all those kind of pain, back pain, that is like fire in your brain, all those things, experiences, raise up your hand. Every, any kind of sickness, I want you to touch those places, touch it, touch it, touch it, lay your hand upon that place. I'm going to pray for you tonight. The sickness is going. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. From migraine in the head, tuberculosis, HIV, hear the voice of the Lord. The Bible says, the stranger shall fade away. And they shall be out of their close places. The landlord has come. I command every sickness. You are a tenant. Sickness, in the mighty name of Jesus, pack your load, get out now, in Jesus' name. 
Sickness, bow down, bow out. Bow down, bow out. Bow down, bow out. Bow down, bow out. Every walking object in your body. Bow down, bow out. Bow down, bow out. Bow down, bow out. In the mighty name of Jesus, I walk you out of their body system now. In Jesus' name. At the mentioning of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. For the glory of God the Father, I command every sickness, I root them out. To the foundation, I command the root of that sickness, dry up to the foundation now. In Jesus' name. Any sickness, whatever it be the name, whatever it be the color, whatever it be the size, whatever it be the shape of that sickness, either demonic or spiritual or medical or physical, to the foundation, I command the root of that sickness, dry up now in Jesus' name. Every sickness in the body, in the brain, in the blood, in the brain, in the bowel, dry up to the foundation in Jesus' name. I command every sickness be reduced to complete ashes tonight through the fire of the omnipotent God, through the consuming fire of God. Be reduced to ashes now in Jesus' name. I have received commandment to go and set you free. And by the power of the omnipotent God, by the authority invested on me, by the power of God, I set you free from every sickness in Jesus' name. Every mental malady, every mental instability, every mental problem, every brain fatigue, I set you free. Let there be peace in your brain right now. In Jesus' name. Peace be still. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus, peace be still. In the name of Jesus, peace be still. The peace of God that passes all understanding descend on you. Descend on you. Descend on you. Rest upon you with a clothing tongues of fire right now. In Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. You are free. Spirit, soul, and body. It is well with you right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Raise up your hand, everybody. Raise up your hand for the final slot. Heavenly Father, I thank you. These are the anointed hands. These are the hands of sources. Almighty Father, you sent me here tonight, anointed to go and set free. I pray tonight, any evil spirit that has followed anybody here, any monitoring spirit that has followed anybody here, you those evil spirit, I crush your head, I crush your head, I crush your head, I crush your head, I blow up your head, and I cut those ugly head off right now. In Jesus' name. Every spirit of failure, I confront you with the spirit of success tonight. I confront you with the spirit of excellence tonight. I conquer you with the blood of Jesus tonight. Every spirit of failure, I conquer you with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Every spirit of frustration, every spirit of failure and frustration, I cast you out. I cast you to the ground. 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 Thank your Lord. Get out in Jesus' name. Every spirit of bad luck. Every spirit of sickness, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of mental malady, every monitoring spirit, every demonic spirit, every monitoring spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command the art of clay, I command the grant of clay, I command your enemy, sink now and perish in Jesus' name. Tonight, tonight, any enemy like Pharaoh and his chariots that will say, you are not going to celebrate your success. You are not going to celebrate your victory. As Pharaoh and his chariots sung, I command every demonic Pharaoh to sink now and perish in Jesus' name. Any 
satanic pharaoh from home, every demonic pharaoh from home, every demonic pharaoh from hostel, any demonic pharaoh from your neighborhood, every satanic pharaoh from anywhere you are living. That to say you are not going to celebrate your success. That to say you are not going to celebrate your victory. That you are not going to celebrate your miracle. I command them to sink and perish in Jesus' name. Satan sing. Satan sing. Satan sing. Sink in the name of Jesus. 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 Sink and perish in Jesus' name. Every gate has a say. You are not going to enter. I command, lift up your head and you go. And be lifted up. The success will come in. Let success come in. Let prosperity come in. Let success come in. Let admission letter come in. Let your admission come in. Take your letter of admission now in Jesus' name. Your letter of admission is prepared from heaven. Your letter of success is prepared from heaven. Your letter of first and spirit is prepared from heaven. I hand your letter of admission to you now in Jesus' name. I employ the spirit of excellence, the one that rested upon Daniel, Shedda, Meshach, and Abednego. I employ that the spirit of success will settle on every one of you in Jesus' name. You will say, you will say, you will say, in the name of Jesus, 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 you will say, as a la prosper in life in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I call upon you tonight. Immortal Father, I pray that the dominion of Satan is ended. 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 I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt that you should not be a bondman to Egypt. I have broken the yoke of your bounds and I have set you free. Every enemy wants to make you a footmark. I make you a watch person. Tonight, those enemy, I crush them. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, they are crowned. They are crowned. You are crowned. Your enemy are crowned. Your enemy are shattered. Your enemy are broken. Their hands are broken. Their hearts are broken. Their hearts are broken. Their hearts are, are broken. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. Every walk of the devil anywhere in any place at any time. You are destroying your life in Jesus' name. Satan, Satan, hear my voice. I destroy your walk. Satan, Satan. In any life of my boy and girl here tonight, I destroy your world. I destroy your world. In the name of Jesus, I destroy your world. In the name of Jesus, I destroy your world. Satan, in the name of Jesus, I destroy your world. Your work in the brain, your work in the blood, your work in the bowel, your work in the breast, your work in the soul, your work in the heart, your work in the academics, your work in the profession. Tonight, through the blood of Jesus, I destroy your work in Jesus' name. Satan, I overcome you. I bring you down. I bring you down. I bring you down. In the life of my people, I bring you down. May the Persian Empire was swept under. Grecian Empire was swept under. May the Persian Empire was swept under. The Babylonian Empire was swept under. And a strong and mighty Roman Empire was 
they were swept under. Every empire before you, every kingdom of no, every kingdom of failure, every kingdom of evil, every kingdom of sickness, I sweep them under you now in Jesus' name. Any kingdom anywhere that opposes your will, that opposes the will of God for your life, they are swept under. They are swept under. They are swept under. Kingdom of failure, they are swept under. Kingdom of frustration, they are swept under. Kingdom of sickness, they are swept under. Kingdom of disease, they are swept under. Kingdom of sin and Satan, they are swept under. I destroy them tonight in Jesus' name. Satan, pack your load and go. We don't have fellowship with you. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go. Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. We conquer you permanently through the blood of Jesus tonight. In Jesus' name. You are delivered. You are delivered. The blood of Jesus is against all your enemies tonight. In Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is against Satan in your life tonight. In Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is against every sickness, spiritual, physical, mental, medical. The blood of Jesus is against every Satan's work in your life tonight. Permanently in Jesus' name. Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. Heavenly Father, I thank you because I know your answer. Thank you, Jesus, because I know your answer. Thank you, Jesus, because I know you, Pastor. Thank you, Jesus. Marching on to victory, for Jesus has conquered. Marching on to victory, we are more than conquerors. Rejoice. Marching on to victory, my Savior has conquered. Marching on to victory, I am more than conqueror. For the last time, marching on to victory, march, 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 march on the end of the devil. The power of God is here already. Amen. You believe you have got to deliver us out that name, Jesus. You know you have your miracle already. Shout that name, Jesus. Finally, you know your deliverance will be permanent. It's permanent forever. Shout that name, Jesus. A club offering for the King of Kings. That's the last Friday before going home this break. Because next week Friday will be at the camp. More for Jesus. More. His power is on you. You are forever delivered.